Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Tonight I'm going to make a classic Italian pasta dish for a classic Italian man. And that man's name is Enrico Caruso, one of the finest tenor opera singers that ever graced the floor of the Metropolitan in New York City. He was also a great cook, a foodie, but long before the word foodie ever entered the American lexicon. He was a fine chef, just a lot of people don't know that. So, in honor of Enrico Caruso, tonight I'm going to make for you pasta alla Caruso. Pasta with chicken livers, olive oil, onions, and garlic. And as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. Let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys. First order of business is we're going to dredge some chicken livers in a little bit of flour, and we're going to saute them in some olive oil. Okay? We're going to saute them for about five or six minutes in the olive oil on a medium high. And then we're going to remove them and move on to the next step. Okay, second step. The livers are all done. I removed them to a plate, set them aside. I've added about three tablespoons of butter into the pan with the remaining olive oil and I am sauteing crimini mushrooms, white button mushrooms, one brown onion and I'm going to saute this down for about five minutes and then I'm going to start on the sauce and as usual the star of my sauce is going to be Pomi brand tomato product. I love this stuff. It's organic, no additives, no sugar, okay, no sodium benzoate, just pure tomato. It's one of my favorite products to use in Italian cooking and other cooking. Okay, so the mushrooms, the onion, and the garlic have sweated down, and now it's time to build the sauce. One cup of dark red wine. In this case, I'm using a Cabernet Sauvignon. You could use a Merlot. You could use a muscat. Okay. You could use any kind of red wine you want, sweet or blunt, it doesn't matter. This is one cup Cabernet Sauvignon. And I'm going to reduce this by half and then move on to the next step in creating this sauce. Okay, the sauce is reduced by about half. It's at a quick boil and in goes the pony. Okay, there we go. Pomi chopped tomatoes. Just love them. Just love them. I just love this product. Organic from Parma. Makes wonderful sauces. Since there's nothing in it, you make it what it's supposed to be. Okay, so here we are incorporating the pomi into the onions, the garlic, and the mushroom, and the wine that have been reduced by half. Okay, going to season with a little bit of salt. Got some Italian sea salt recently. Just a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. There we go. And I'm going to simmer this on medium for about five minutes. And then I'm going to add the chicken livers back into it. Okay, guys. The sauce is just smelling lovely. The onions, the garlic, the wine. And now I'm going to add the chicken livers back into the sauce. Okay. There we go. They've got a nice crust from being dredged in flour. And they're pretty much cooked. They could use another two, maybe three minutes. But that's okay because on a low heat, okay, on a low simmer, these livers are going to impart their flavor to this sauce. Okay, got the sauce has been cooking for about five minutes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some dried oregano balls. 
There we go. Nice dried oregano. Well, Enrico knew what he was doing. And we're going to let this cook for about another 25 minutes, and I'll see you soon. Okay, the sauce has been going for almost 30 minutes. Now it's time to cook the pasta. Many people just use plain old spaghetti when making pasta alla caruso. I think that's kind of pedestrian. So today I am using one pound of papardelle pasta. Okay, I love papardelle. It's going to give it a different flavor, a different texture. It's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes for this papardelle to cook until it's al dente and then I'm going to plate the pasta a la caruso. So hang on tight guys, it's going to be worth the wait. Okay guys, the pasta has been cooking for about 10 minutes, it's al dente. I'm going to strain it through a colander and plate up the food and we're going to see what pasta a la caruso looks like. Okay guys, there it is, pasta a la caruso. Okay. Pasta with chicken livers, olive oil, onions, garlic and mushrooms with the addition of some artichoke hearts right there. And if you want, as usual, you could add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes to impart some heat. Everyone who knows me here knows that I love the heat, but it's not a necessary step. You don't have to, but I happen to like the heat. And of course, you can top the dish with some kind of cheese. This here is Pecorino Romano and Parmesan. Okay, Just a nice little dusting. Give it some flavor. And there you have it. Pasta alla Caruso. Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. I want to thank you for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight and getting into this pasta alla Caruso made with my favorite tomato product, Pomi. I hope you liked the recipe. I hope you make it at home, and if you like this video, if you like this recipe, I'd really like you to subscribe to my channel. If you have any recipe suggestions, please submit them to me, and I might make them, okay? As well as that, if you do make this recipe, please let me know how it went, because I'd really be interested to know what happened when you tried to make this recipe at home. I look forward to hearing from you, recipe suggestions, and what happened when you made this recipe at home. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care.